Hi there, my name's Kate Cheel and I'm a digital learning trainer from the UK. I was a full-time teacher for 14 years and I still teach a day a week in a girls' school. But I spend most of my time working with schools across the UK and further afield to help them embed digital learning into their teaching and learning. I've led training sessions at venues such as the National Gallery and the Science Museum in London and I've spoken at conferences such as BET on the power of using Google tools for flipping the classroom and at EdTech Team's California Summits. I'd really like to introduce you now to the new Google Sites. In Drive, we go to the New button, to More, and then to Google Sites. The first thing you do in Google Sites is to click here and to give your site a name. I can then click in this box and give my site a header. On the right is the quick access tool to enable us to easily drag and drop content onto our site's pages. Let's add a text box. So along this side we can quickly grasp content from in our Google Drive. Let's do this now. I'm going to select these two images and choose insert and they will be placed onto my page straight away. I may decide to embed some content from YouTube or a Google Calendar or Map. Let's go with YouTube for now. I can search and then Sites will insert the video onto my page. I'll need a text box alongside there and Sites makes it very easy to drag and drop any blocks to somewhere else on the page. Let's click on the preview and that's how easy it is to add content to create a simple Google web page. To add a new page it's as simple as clicking pages at the top, this little add page icon, giving your page a name, clicking done and your page is ready to go. You'll see the menu then appear at the top right corner. I can allow somebody else to edit my site by clicking on the sharing icon and typing in their name. To publish my site, I simply need to give my site a URL address and then choose whether it's viewable by anyone in my organisation or anybody on the web. I then click publish and my site is live. 